What brought us the bunny, Alan, was that I had a, a big scarf and a bunny on and the newspapers were trying to take photos of me going into the studio because they wanted to know who the new mystery man was. Well, well, so we just kept point. it, and because, as you know, the studios were at Leith Docks, and on the no. 12th of December, Leith Docks are not actually the warmest place to be. No, no. And then almost after that, I moved it to Bayliston. That's right, they moved it to Bayliston. I didn't sadly move to Bayliston with it, but, uh, you know, that's that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I went uh, down to Sheffield, and then I went over to Manchester. Because after, I mean, when you done the nighttime show, did you, did you not then move to the morning? We time? moved to the morning, and that got so hot, it doubled the audience again and was nearly wiping out the established radio stations. So they were in an, an absolute panic, you know. But the thing is, it was a different type of conversation in the morning than it was at night time. Yes, yes, the night times were just a little bit fresher, shall we say. <laughs> the night time was the best. The right time well, well, the people in Scotland that lay in bed and listen to that now, they might always, they might not always have agreed with me. A lot of them did, of course, uh, you know, but they might not always have agreed. But you know, they they were all listening, and that's what matters. I think that, I think most of the audience, you know, was. I mean, when I used to listen to you, I was in '94. I was what? Christ, I was eighteen. Yeah, and I used to listen to you all the time. Was I'm forty six now. Wow. I mean, so, that, so I've been listening to you almost 30 years back. Yes. I mean, you, you, I mean you'll never recapture no. those days. Well, I don't know, never. you see, but the only thing is, I'll tell you, Alan, everything was right about that. The backers right. were two ITV stations, mm -hmm. right? So, so the backing was good. The station was properly set up. The management were very, very good. There was a lot of very good salespeople. There was good news people. They brought on the very best. And uh, so you had a really good staff there at the time. And then, of so course... Back in, so, so back in, Scott, the, the management, was that Boss Man J? No, no, Boss Man J wasn't anything to do with it till much later. He came in at the end on Scott FM and then it changed to Real Radio. That was Boss Man J. Boss Man J uh, worked for Radio is still, 4th. Is, is he still with us? Uh, yes, I believe so, yes. In fact, um, I, I think I saw recently he was taking on an online station. Very, very experienced man. But um, you see, they didn't, they, they, they used to listen to me and they thought he's going to be difficult to handle. And of course I wasn't. You know what I mean? It's and it was, you know, I mean, as somebody said, the head of ITV said, you're an absolute peach.